You're watching Truth versus Hype. At the end of the week, when the Prime Minister finally made an attempt to condemn the killing of Mohammed Akhlaq, the man who was murdered in the village of Dadri on suspicion that he ate beef. But it may take more than such platitudes by him or by his leadership to rein in the violent rise of cattle vigilantism, which led to Akhlaq's death. Now, the vigilantism itself is not new. But this government, this political regime, more than the other, is obsessed with cow and cow protection, rather than in reining in such groups who perpetuate violence in its name. Moreover, the political establishment is not above repeating the same falsehoods and exaggerations which are used by the ground-level stormtroopers of the Hindutva Parivar to justify their violent actions. Twelve days later, the debate over who killed Akhlaq and for what reason lost in the fog of political acrimony. Planned conspiracy for political gain or random act of extreme violence. Regardless of what emerges, local officials say at its root lies the poisoning of minds of the young. They are very easy sub-target for any kind of organization who want to excite them to alienate them from the main system and they use them to spread rumors and involve in these kind of activities which forward the basic aims of those organizations which are uh, totally against the social values and social norms. The big question, will those in authority curb the spread of toxic half-truths and discourage vigilantism? In the days following the murder, the signs from the ruling establishment were worrying. Akhlaq ke ghar walo ko to yahan ki sarkar jahaz mein bitha ke le gayi. Wo jaise Mujaffarnagar mein dange ke aaropi ko jahaz mein bitha ke le gayi thi, aise hi gaay ke kaatne walo ko bhi bitha ke le. Finally, belated attempts at expressing regret. India is a mature society. We have to rise above these kind of incidents because they certainly don't bring a good name as far as the country is concerned. Ham tay kar le. Ham tay kar le.